Hi there everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser, and today I'm going to talk about the difference between Absolute and Relative Mode. So we're in RE3 right here, and we can see our workspace. We're working with our 48 by 36 Pro Series machine. And uh, right now it is in Relative Mode, and it's not going to change anything visually. But I'm going to talk about what each of those do. So we have a one-to-one -one representation, you can see 48 by 36. So every inch is uh, represented by our workspace. We're going to go into settings really quick and we're going to tab over to the laser tab. And like I said we're in relative mode we're going to switch to absolute. So now we're in absolute mode and basically what that means is anywhere I put a design in this workspace that's where our laser head is going to go. So I'm going to make a little star shape and I'm going to bring up our live feed as well. So we have our little star here move it. Now that red dot is actually where our laser head is currently. Now if I hit run perimeter, our laser head's going to move to the design and it's going to run its little perimeter. Now if we stop, it's going to go back to where it was. Now if I grab the design and move it again down bottom right and hit perimeter once again, again the laser head is going to move to that position and run its perimeter. So if we were to hit play, that's where our design would be on the bed. And once again, when we stop, it goes back to where we left off. Now if we go back to settings and set up our laser to work in relative mode, now we're in relative mode. It's going to work a little bit differently, so I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to hit perimeter. And this time, the laser head's not going to move to that position. It's going to start where the laser head is. And that's basically the biggest difference. So if we move this design over this way, same story. We hit perimeter, it's just going to stay where it is. So in relative mode, it doesn't matter where your design is on the bed. It's only going to pay attention to where the laser head is. Whereas in absolute, it's going to worry about where the design is. So if we hit play, Actually, we're going to move, so we're going to move the laser head down, move it right, well, let's move it closer to the middle, and this is just a piece of cardboard, and uh, we're going to hit play, and it's going to start where we have our laser head. And there we go, now we have a little cutout star. Now if I can find our star again, zoom out a little bit, there we go, okay. Now if we switch it back to absolute and we leave it, and we leave the star where it is, you'll notice a difference. So in relative mode, it just started where the laser head was. Now it's going to try and navigate to where that design is. Now I think, yep, it's off the material. So we're just hitting the honeycomb there, so I'm going to stop it. And while we're in absolute, uh, the only way we can get the design to move is if we actually move it within the software. Uh, that's the nice thing about relative mode, is if you don't want to move the software, if you have a design and you want to make multiples, say we want to line up this star on the top right corner, in absolute I actually have to move it and kind of like keep checking and see if it's lined up properly, but in relative mode, I can just move the laser head to where I want it to go and just hit play. So I'm gonna move the laser head, move it up a little bit and over. There we go, I think that's about right. So we have to switch it back over again. relative mode once again, save changes, and now when we hit play, it'll be right in that top corner, right where we want it. And there you go. And that's really the biggest difference. So in absolute mode, it's more concerned about where the design is, whereas in relative mode, it's more concerned with where the laser head is. You can use both of these to your advantage, depending on your circumstances. If you're trying to work on material that's about the size of the bed, uh, Absolute's a really good route to go. 
Relative is super great if you have one design that you're going to do on maybe multiple, multiple materials, especially if it's maybe like an abnormally shaped piece of material, maybe like a piece of scrap. Uh, Relative super useful in that scenario. So I hope that helped you guys uh, understand the difference between absolute and relative mode. If you guys have any more questions, just post them down in the comments. And until next time, keep making.